number seven in our countdown. The Late Heavy Bombardment. The orbital dance of Saturn and Jupiter didn't just throw the outer gas giants into turmoil. It also ignited a system-wide maelstrom. The wandering around of Jupiter and Saturn would have created gravitational tugs on the protoplanets that were forming in the region of the asteroid belt. That would have caused them to smash together, shattering them into a bunch of asteroids, probably before 4.1 billion years ago. And then the two-to-one resonance of Jupiter and Saturn channeled some of those asteroids into the inner solar system, creating the era of heavy bombardment. We can see the dramatic results every time we gaze up at the moon. Most of the scars on its pockmarked face are the result of this bombardment, also known as the lunar cataclysm. Proof of this disaster was discovered in 1969 when NASA's Apollo 11 mission put the first man on the moon. It's a really fun detective story connecting the dynamical models that are giving us an explanation for the geologic evidence that we see for a late heavy bombardment about four billion years ago here in the inner solar system. We had the geologic evidence ever since Apollo in the dating of the rocks from the moon that showed this period of dates at that time. The cratering record tells us that in various spots in the solar system, especially, for instance, on the moon, that there was a sudden increase in a number of really large objects slamming into the, the planets. But while the moon merely suffered cosmetic scars, one planet received such a cataclysmic blow, it may have lost its ability to harbor life. 